What's up? It's your boy VPB, aka Larry's the government. Vampire blocker, do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're returning for the gems and truths I'm dropping, please spread my channel. Um, help your boy out. Um, shout out to Vince. What's up? Came up to me in the gym today. He noticed your boy has a channel. Cool dude came up to me, showed your boy some love. Do that. If you notice, if you happen to see somebody who has a YouTube channel and you're watching their channel and they're helping you out, you know what I'm saying? Just go up to him. Yo, he was a cool dude. He came up to me, shook my hand, showed some love, and went back to doing what he was doing. At the end of the day, shout out to you, Vince. What's up? So I just want to talk about some things about negative family members and negative uh, people in your life in general. Um, I made a short video on this talking about how they will derail you in life, and they truly will. When people are negative, they don't have anything going on good in their life. And when you're doing what you're doing, they will try to tell you what you should be doing in your life. Now, there's a popular saying, don't take anybody from advice you would not trade places with. Have you ever noticed you're doing better than family members, but they will never take your advice on, um, how, on how to get to where you are? They just want you to give them the keys to the car so they can go drive it. They don't understand it came with sacrifice. Now, I have family members that literally are not doing good. I got friends that are not doing good. There's people in my life where they want advice, but then within 30 seconds, they're telling you, oh, well, you know, this is how you're supposed to eat if you wanna lose weight, but they're twice the size of you when you've already lost weight, so you know what it takes to get there. Oh, well, this is what it does to create a budget, here's what you gotta do, but you have more money than them and they're always broke. You gotta stay away from negative and toxic people. You will not get anywhere in life if you surround yourself with these people. Another popular phrase, show me your circle, I'll show you who you are. I'll show you where you're going. Sometimes you will get lonely. You will feel like, you'll fall into a depression like, yo, like, is everybody around me crazy or is it just me? You know what? If you're doing what you gotta do and you're succeeding and you're happy, and you're achieving goals. You're doing what you have to do to get to where you gotta go. A lot of people do not put that work in. You'll be surprised at how many people, they just go through life. Their doctor tells them they gotta get healthy. They blow it off. That's your doctor telling you, you gotta lose weight. You have hypertension, you have uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and then they wonder why their legs go numb or they have problems sleeping and they're waking up every 20 minutes with sleep apnea and they can't breathe and they can't run from, they can't even run 100 feet and they're out of breath. They always wanna take the uh, elevator and you go, I'm gonna take the stairs. You realize the little things in life can help you and they don't understand that. Now, just because people are your family, that doesn't mean they want the best for you, trust me. A lot of people in your family know your weakness and a lot of times they will just take stabs at you. That they'll bring up past things that you may have went through, whether it's a divorce, a breakup, uh, a car accident, a DUI, you may have been arrested and they'll keep reminding you about those times that was your lowest moment. Those are toxic people. Good people will never bring up bad things that happen to you. They'll try to motivate you. They'll try to help you through those tough times that you had. A lot of people in your life, they're there to listen when you're going through struggling and you're failing because you make them feel better with their life. They'll say, well, my life is crappy, but hey, it's not as bad as Larry's. When you start doing better, you'll be surprised how many friends you lose. You'll be surprised how many family members stop coming around. You'll be surprised how many people stop uh, uh, stop inviting you places because you're doing great. You'll start finding things to do on your own because people aren't inviting you to do those things. Now say it's a normal uh, day. It's like a, a Thursday night. It's a Sunday night. It's a Monday night. Everyone's going out to go drink. You don't feel like drinking. You don't want to drink. You're, you're, you're already over that. You know, it's too many calories. It's expensive. It's horrible bar food. You already made food at home. You're comfortable at home. You're watching Netflix. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with going out and eating before you go 
and having a seltzer if you do want to be around your friends. You don't got to drink. Don't let them pressure you. Good friends will never pressure you to do something you don't want to do. Good family will never pressure you to do something you don't want to do. Now, I have friends who drink. I don't drink too much money. Um, you know, I'm going to come out and tell you, I used to drink a lot back in the day. It got me into some trouble. So now it's easier for me. Oh, and I'm older and I feel like crap the next two days. I don't want to box. I don't want to lift weights. You know, I'm 41. I'll be out of commission for like two, three days. I'm not like I'm, you know, like in my 20s where I could party all night and then go to work and do it again. I'm not like that anymore. So if your friends are inviting you out, you don't always got to say no, but you can say, all right, I'm going to go spend an hour. Uh, it takes a strong person to do this. Eat before you go. Uh, get a seltzer, a soda, chill with them, watch two quarters, watch three quarters and be like, yo, I got to go. I got something I got to do. Your good friends, they're not going to care. They're not going to worry and they're not going to give a crap that you got somewhere you got to go. They're going to dat you up, say, all right, bro, I'll get up with you another time. Now, your toxic friends, they're going to want you to sit there all night with them. And when you don't make it to work, if you lose your job, are they going to pay your bills? So just keep that, just keep that in mind. You got to do what's best for you and yours. You don't have to impress nobody. You don't. You come in this world and you leave by yourself. You come in the world by yourself and you leave by yourself. You're going to have trolls always coming at you and saying stuff, but you got to take a look at them. Are they doing great? People who are doing great and people who are doing awesome, they don't troll you. They don't. It's only people who are failures that troll. Good, successful, positive people, no matter what direction someone is going, they'll always show love because they acknowledge what's best for them may not be best for you, and they have acknowledged what's best for you may not be best for them. No regrets. Get it.